Well, the Rockville rape atrocity may have been a rude awakening for some government officials that sometimes when foreign countries send the people here, they are not sending their very best. But it was not a surprise for Mark Kikorian, he's executive director at the Center for Immigration Studies, a think tank that's conducted extensive research on immigration and its many effects. Mark Kikorian joins us now. Mark, thanks for coming on. So one of the, the baffling questions, I think, about our government is why, at a time when we keep stats on everything, how many merry-go-round accidents there are in America's playgrounds, we really don't have good numbers on the number of crimes committed by immigrants, illegal and otherwise. Why is that? Well, because people don't want to know. I mean, that's really kind of what it amounts to. The FBI doesn't want to know, local uh, state police, local police, they don't want to know. And so the data on this is really very iffy. The Census Bureau sort of tries to track it, but it's not necessarily very effective. I mean, the answer is basically no one wants to know. No one wants to know. So how long have we not known? And who is the lobby for not knowing? Who's, the, who's behind the ignorance lobby on this question? Uh, well, basically all of the uh, usual suspects pushing for amnesty and increased immigration because their goal is to show, um, is to basically suppress anything that makes immigration, uh, puts it in a bad light. And the fact is, immigrants as a whole probably aren't especially more likely uh, to be or even right. less likely to be criminal. The issue here, especially, and this is what we saw in this Rockville case, is not even so much whether there's a, the, what the crime rate is among immigrants. It's that people who were in the custody of the government, illegal immigrants were in custody and then let go. You know, bad people do bad things all the time. It's not all the government's fault. But people who were in the For custody sure. of the government, they did not remove them, they let them go instead. That is the fault of the federal government, as well as all the local and state sanctuary jurisdictions. So there's some CYA here. I mean, this is, in effect, government not letting you know how poorly they're doing the job you hired them to do. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of the things that the president was, uh, said he wanted to try to rectify, where ICE will now um, start releasing actually data on this and reports on this. It's just got started. They released their first, but it was kind of a you know, a first effort, they've got to get organized better in releasing this data, but they at least will be able to say, look, we asked for these people to be handed over, they're deportable aliens, and these jurisdictions didn't do it and they let them go instead. That's important information to have, and going forward, we're going to have a more regular report on this, and that's probably the most effective tool against sanctuary cities is information, because they're going to say, well, this person only was a drunk driver or a wife beater or whatever and so we let him go well if that person then goes on and graduates to becoming a rapist or murderer we now know right. and we're going to be able to say you let him go even though he was a criminal and was deportable this is partly on you did you notice that when the president announced his plan to begin this data collection in his speech three weeks ago to the joint session of congress of all the things he said some of them controversial this was the only one that was, in effect, booed by a lot of the Democrats in attendance. Yeah, Why? and they booed. Why is they, this, among all of them, so controversial? And remember, they booed. He talked in that about releasing the information, but also was talking about this victim services office. And he pointed out several right. of the surviving family members. They were booing these family members, people whose children or husbands had been murdered by illegal immigrants, people who... Again, not just regular run-of-the-mill illegal aliens, but people who had been in the custody of the government and then let go. Like I said, the reason these people were booed and this idea of transparency and getting this information out was booed is that nothing can be permitted to make uh, any uh, immigrant, illegal immigrant in particular, look bad. That, that somehow that would then mean that, like the superintendent of the schools you played before, somehow that reflects on all immigrants. But the fact is, people well, are smart. that's exactly right. They can tell the difference between an illegal immigrant rapist and a regular schmo, neighbor, worker at the restaurant who isn't a rapist. People can tell the difference. 
Well, of course, and in fact, the veil of lying and secrecy over this whole subject besmirches all immigrants. I mean, not all immigrants are the same. A lot of them are incredibly impressive, much more impressive than I am, harder working, buy into the American idea. We benefit from a lot of immigrants. Some of them are horrible, and we should get rid of them immediately. So th we're not allowed to make distinctions, I've noticed. is that That's part of the gambit, isn't it? That yeah, all exactly. immigrants are exactly the same, an attack on one is an attack on all. And again, even the distinction between legal and illegal immigrants is one right. that the, uh, these people have been trying to eliminate. This, you know, the pro-immigration lobby has been trying to distinguish, as well as the distinction between people who obey the law in general, you know, criminal aliens and regular immigrants. In fact, there have been efforts um, by, you know, I, in New York, there was a few years ago, there was this coalition that opposed any deportation, even of criminals. In other words, that when an, a non-citizen murderer finished his sentence, their position was that person should be returned to the community because no one should be deported. They actually had a hashtag, not one more deportation. That's not some fringy thing. That's actually pretty mainstream among these anti-borders activist groups. You know, if that's really your position, you're not engaging in public policy, that's theology. I mean, that's a species of faith. That's insanity. And thanks for pointing it out. Mark Kerkorian, always a man with the facts. Appreciate it. Thank you.